Hey everyone, how are we doing? So we've got the ZR out here on the stands and today it desperately needs some new brake pads. So that's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. Let's go. So for this job, we're going to need some very basic tools. And I mean, the process on most motorcycles is pretty much exactly the same. Um, except I've noticed on these sets of calipers in particular, they don't have any pins or anything like that that you need to remove. So it's just these two bolts here and the caliper will come right off. And this is a 12 millimeter socket. So the things that you're gonna need, some brake cleaner, a rag or a cloth, some copper grease, and then of course the brake pads themselves. All right. So believe it or not, apparently, brakes and their components are carcinogenic, so it's always best to wear a pair of gloves when you're doing this. This is a really quick and easy job, this. So I don't understand why people don't do this themselves. Yeah, this is really, really straightforward stuff. On most brakes, anyway. All right, so once you've got these two bolts off, the uh, caliper should just come loose. Let me try to do this one-handed. There we go. And then if we lift it up a little bit and then twist out, it should just come off. If I can get the top bit off, there we go. And then boom, and there we go. There's some worn brake pads. So to get these out, we just push them with our thumbs and yeah, they'll come right out. You can see that inside here is quite dirty so what i'm going to do i'm actually going to take this clip out there you go this one here put that to the side then i'm going to use the brake cleaner to give all this a bit of a spray now this isn't the first time i've done this i was actually filming this video yesterday and i noticed that this pad here was wearing more than this one here and i think that's because on uh, the mot that i had last year said that one of the brakes was binding and I imagine that it was probably the pistons on this pad here that were binding. Now when I had this all on, this tire was really difficult to move. So yeah, it's definitely this caliper that's binding. So I'm gonna give it a good clean here now. Hopefully this brush will help. You can for this just use a toothbrush, but I just really want to get in all the nooks and crannies as much as possible, so I'm just using this fine fibre thing. I don't even know what this is called to be honest, but yeah, it's doing a pretty good job. By the way, these lines are steel braided, so metal braided, so it should be all right to just let the brake caliper hang like that. But one thing to keep in mind is if these are rubber and this is a heavy caliper, then yeah, just watch out for that. Use something with a little bit more abrasion just to help with this gunk that's on here. All right, so it's not the best job in the world cleaning it, but the reason why we've done that is in order to fit the new pads, we're gonna to have to push down on the pistons. These here are the pistons. So 
You should be able to do it with your fingers, with your hands, but there is another way with a screwdriver that you can you can do. But yeah, these are these are going in pretty pretty easily. And basically, what we're trying to do is trying to get them as flat as possible. So keep on squeezing until they go in all the way, till they're flush, flush with the rest of the caliper. Now, yeah, if you're struggling, then yeah, you can just use something like the end of a screwdriver or something like that to push those pistons in. Now it's interesting that that pin, that um pin, that piston there. Uh, it's a bit of a struggle to get loose. So I wonder if that is the one that's binding. But well, hopefully this brake job will help. Right. So, I mean, they're not flush all the way, but we'll see if that's enough room to get the new pads in. So these are the pads. These are EBC brakes, double H. I don't know what any of this means. Uh, FA447 double H. So for the ZR 1400 with these Brembo calipers, these are the ones that you want. So the next thing that we're going to do with these is we're actually going to apply a little bit of copper grease to the back of the pads before we put them in. Apparently that's supposed to help with brake squeal. And let's stop the video right there. So I am fully aware of the raging debate that's going on online surrounding the use of copper grease on the backs of brake pads. And the only reason why I'm doing it in this video is because that is the wisdom of old mechanics and even Ed China from back in the day when he was doing wheeler dealers he would always swear by using copper grease on the backs of new brake pads before installing them in the car. And that's that's why I'm doing it, okay? And so you guys can definitely hash it out down in the comment section below whether or not that's a big myth and whether or not it helps with brake squeal or anything like that. And to be fair, if your bike doesn't produce any brake squeal, then you probably don't need to have any copper grease on the backs of new pads. But it may help in that situation where you are having some brake squeal, but it could indicate a bigger issue with your brake system anyway. All right, so if you do try the old copper grease trick on the back of the brake pads and your brakes are still squealing, then yeah, I definitely recommend going and getting it checked out by a proper mechanic, just in case, just in case there's something else, because they are your brakes at the end of the day, all right? And yeah, I am fully aware that I use way too much copper grease on the first pad and off camera, I did wipe it with a cloth and reapply a more reasonable amount of copper grease. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there so I can cover all my bases and yeah, definitely hash it out down in the comments what you guys think about copper grease. But yeah, let's get back to the video. I don't know how much of this stuff we're gonna need, but... Oy. And they just popped out. So that's probably more than enough, I imagine. I'm just gonna rub it along here. Yeah, that's probably way, way too much. <laughs> okay, then we're gonna pop them in. These can be a little bit finicky, but once they pop in, they should be, they should seat fairly easily. There we go. That one's in there. I think that's probably more than enough for this application. Yeah, I definitely did way too much on the other one. There we go. That is in there. I just need to help it along a little bit because uh, if you see it's off, it's not quite straight. There we go. There we go, so that's them on there like that. So then the last thing we need to do is get the caliper back onto the disc. go
So the reason why you want to clean the brake calipers when you're doing a brake pad change is as you're pushing in those pistons, all the grime and gunk that has built up around them, you really don't want that going into the caliper. So yeah, so it's always just best to give them, give them a clean whilst you're at it. I mean, brake cleaner is, isn't cheap, unfortunately. I mean, that bottle there cost me eight quid or so from a local motoring store. So it's not cheap. I'm sure you can get it cheaper online, much cheaper, but yeah, maybe a fiver, something like that. Yeah, this, this is just the one that I'm using here. Break some brake and parts cleaner from Car Lube. Seems to do an okay job. Don't know. Let me know down in the comments, guys, which ones you think are the best brake cleaners out there. And I don't think you're going to get brake calipers perfectly clean, but as long as they are okay, then you should be should be fine. Yeah, this this job is really easy on this bike. There'll be a similar process on most most bikes, but yeah, this one in particular, really, really straightforward. Right, let's, let's just get these nice and snug. That's one. I'll get this one snug as well. Done. Now we've got to do the same thing on the other side. It's a shame about this because that brake pad on that side that's overly worn I bet you I wouldn't have had to have changed these brake pads anytime soon if that one had worn evenly so I suppose it is worth every six months or so just to check the brake pads themselves make sure they are wearing evenly because then if they if they're wearing evenly then you'll get more life out of the brake pads now the one thing you don't want to do is leave your brake pads too late because then what you'll have is the metal underneath the pads themselves will start scoring along the brake disc and then once you've done that it's pretty much a goner and you have to change the uh, the disc as well as the pads and yeah this is far more expensive as you'll probably know so yeah do this every five or six thousand miles something like that that should that should be good. Right, let's see how this one looks. There we go, this one came off fairly easily. There's one, that one looks okay. all right as well yeah there's definitely meat left on these not much but there's definitely definitely another thousand miles left on those I reckon I don't know what do you guys think let me know Yeah, you're never going to get these perfectly clean or polished just because of all this crud that's built up over time. But this caliper is the one that I think is alright, so let's just push these pistons down. It's funny how when you push one, the others pop out. <laughs> okay, that looks alright. Let's do the pads. I've got the little spring here that goes in at the back. There we go. So you see those bits? That's the spring there that's supposed to give a little bit of forward pressure on the pads themselves so yeah that's why that bit is important stops them from rattling around all right let's get this one in okay, 
There's one. Go. And there's the second one. Alright, let's get this one on as well. And then we're done. Yeah, seriously easy job this to do guys, so save yourself a little bit of cash at the mechanics and just get this done yourself because this is so easy. At least if you have uh, disc brakes anyway. If you have drum brakes, no idea how that works, but haven't had a drum brake bike since the mid 2000s. <laughs> All right, let's just tighten these up. And that's it, we're done. All right, so because you've pushed in those pistons on the brake calipers, the brake here is gonna feel really spongy. So what you need to do is give it a few pulls And you should start feeling pressure build up again on the lever and that's when you know that your calipers are pressing down up against those brake pads and clamping down on those discs so yeah the last thing to do now is to take this take this desert out for a ride let's see if i've done a decent job or not <laughs> so i suppose what we could do to test the brakes is just see if they clamp down as we turn the wheel yeah. <laughs> and you can see, I don't know, if that's still binding a little bit. I think it might be, you know, so I might have to get this out again at some point. And again, it is freeing up. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I have to do a better job of cleaning this caliper here, but... But yeah, we seem to be clamping down pretty good on the disc. So yeah, I think this bike is good to go for a little test ride. So these were all the pads here, the old pads. Yeah, th this, these were a pair and these were a pair. So you can see how the wear on those is pretty even. But then on this one, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on the camera, but there's definitely more meat on the one that's underneath than the one that's on the top definitely more more on this one than there is on this one so this this pad here is wearing a lot more than the one on this side which is interesting but I mean what I'll do I'll ride it for a thousand miles or so and see if I get a similar pattern there with these new pads but I'm, I'm hoping that by changing these brake pads giving the calipers a bit of a clean that that would sort it out but yeah let's uh, take the bike out for a ride There you have it, guys and girls. Some new brake pads done on the ZR1400. Like I said earlier, this is a really, really straightforward job. Pretty much the same, if not very similar process on almost any motorcycle out there. So it's definitely a job that you can do yourselves. Those brake pads, by the way, they cost me 70 quid for both of them. And that's from a local parts dealer. So yeah, pretty good going all in all, and I saved myself a few quid doing this job myself, but it's really easy and you only need simple tools to do it. All right, thank you. <laughs> uh, always happens. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this little tutorial here and leave a like, hit subscribe as always, guys and girls. Thank you so much for watching to the end. We'll catch you in the next one.